You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. We're going to build the fastest computer ever today. We need a four column toaster. The metal prongs have to be in this position, or else it won't work. We need a tower computer's hard drive, most preferably, some mint scissor tea, Lipton, I think works the best, and a dictionary, pocket sized, because you can't exactly fit a full dictionary into a toaster. Now you can plug it in, you may miss a few times, but I'm sure you'll get it. It can look like this when plugged in, or if you're lazy, it can look like this. But if you have problems with both, you can always just glue it on. I'm assuming there's no hazard there, so just go ahead and do that. Now, when you have your toaster ready, you want to line up your hard drive, dictionary, and tea. Turn it around, it'll make it much easier to operate on. Insert your hard drive into slot 1. Take the tea from your package. So, the tea bag and string are available. Put the tea bag and have the string hang over, exposing the logo. Open your dictionary to somewhere around half and insert it in slots 3 and 4. This will act as a language bridge, allowing you to communicate with your computer. And you can go around and turn that right back around so you can turn it on. Okay, this diagram shows the number of electricity particles are being moved here. Now, we'll turn it on. It's normal for this white glow to fill your whole house, possibly the universe. We haven't tested it yet. And you set that to the smartness level you need. I put it on halfway. Now, when the tea bag does run out, the thing is pretty thirsty. You want to turn off the hard drive immediately, or else become dissatisfied. And that's how you make the world's fastest computer.